Hey Noimers! In this video, we are going to build an interesting workflow in which the nodes will be re-executed automatically if they fail to execute properly. Here in Nine form, we have a topic. The user uh, has said, I have an issue with the workflow whereby a node may error and needs to be manually re-executed. I believe the error may be caused for some reasons. Is there a simple method by which I could restart a node which has stopped? So, he wants to re-execute his workflow automatically whenever an error occurs. So, let's see how we can do that in Nime Analytics platform. So, here I have the workflow in which I have used the get request node to produce the error. Here in the configuration window of get request node, we have an option which is fail on connection problems. I have uh, checked this option here. So if we don't have any internet connection, this node will stop executing and will produce an error message. So here I have no internet connection and let's execute the workflow. Here, as you see, we get an error message from the get request node, but the workflow keeps re-executing. Let's connect to the internet. And now, as soon as we are connected to the internet, the node is executed successfully and the, the workflow is finished. So let's check how we build this workflow. Here, the first node is the table creator node in which I have input the URL uh, to get a list of countries from the API. Here is the address. And then a generic could start. Uh, this node here will let us to keep looping uh, until a certain condition is met. Then I have a try node, uh, which is here in the workflow control and under error handling, handling uh, branch here, and the catch error here. Uh, these are the error handling uh, nodes. So after this try node, uh, we have a wait node here. Uh, this node has a simple configuration. I have set three seconds uh, for the wait time. Uh, this node mm, will make our workflow to wait for three seconds before re-executing. So after the wait node, I have the get request node. I have assigned the URL column to URL column option here. And the rest of the nodes are the nodes to extract the data. Here after the column filter node, uh, we have this output. We have a single column, the name column, the type is string, and we have the list of the countries. Uh, so here I have the table creator node again. I have a single column again, the same as the output uh, table in column filter mode, I have a single value here, which is error, and we have the catch error here. This node here will forward the data flow from the top port if no error occurs. But if any error occurs in the nodes after the try node, then it will forward the data from the bottom flow. Here, the error. So after this catch error node, which again, no special configuration, we have the table row to variable. So this table will uh, convert the first row of each one of these table, uh, each one that the catch error will forward. So uh, we have the name column as a variable and now and then we may have the Afghanistan as the value for the variable or the error as the value for the variable. 
And finally, we have the variable condition loop end. And I have set the main variable here for available flow variables here for this option. So it will uh, finish loop if the value for this variable here is not error we have is or is not here if the value is not error the loop will finish so if the data flow from the button is forwarded and the value for the name variable will is error so the loop keeps looping uh, so here uh, in this uh, in this workflow now for now uh, we have no error and as you see here the output is the name of the countries and the list of the countries here but if I disconnect from the internet and I reset the nodes here and I execute them again. So now, if we check the output, the output is the uh, table from the from our table creator node in the at the bottom. So, as you see, the workflow keeps executing until we connect to the internet and the get request node executes successfully. Okay. And here we have the output. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope this will be helpful to you.